hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so it's tuesday it's 11 right now i woke up an hour ago 10 that's usually the time i wake up till today i woke up early usually wake up at 11 so this is usually the time i start my day because i'm not a morning person i can't even lie to myself that i'm gonna wake up at 7 and i'm gonna do a lot because i'm not so I know like what works for me is usually like if I wake up late, I know I can work until around or really just be up until around 2 or 3 which is like the hours that work for me and I'm good to that. So today I have a lot to do. I have like, I have, we have an order that we have to finish by the end of today so we'll be working until late. So I have to make something like this. I have to make this. I have to make two of this before the end of the day yeah it will be done it will be done if i feel like yeah i feel good it's, it's still early so i'll work until probably midnight or one we'll see no i don't know how they let it don't judge me this is how my, my house looks when i'm about to work because we have to work with a lot of beads a lot of thread the next day Oh my goodness, hi guys. So it's Wednesday. So yesterday I thought I was gonna work until midnight, but I worked until four in the morning. I just underestimated the amount of work that the pieces were going to take. So I worked until morning, which is fine. I'm I'm really I work better at night. As I was saying yesterday. I'm not I'm not a morning person so I work best at night and I know this works for me. So even when I see those quotes of you know like waking up in the morning, you get the most out of your day, I just I feel like you just need to find what works for you. Because for me I know I'm the most unproductive person in the morning. I really won't do much. Even if I wake up early I won't do much. So I'll start my day at around eleven. So why would I even waste the the morning when I can sleep? And I know I'm gonna sleep late, which I sleep between two and three, so it works for me. Yeah, and yesterday I sleep. I, I prefer working throughout the night. So you you just need to find what works for you, how your routine works, what's best for you. I'm lucky because I have my own business, so I can do. I can sort of like designate the hours that I that I feel like works for me. So I don't really need to work in the morning, which is I'm lucky. I have that privilege, honestly. Yeah, so I worked until 4 in the morning because I told him I'm um, making these pieces for Miss Kenya. Yeah, then they're pretty cool. They're really, really, they're really cool. And I'm, I'm going to show you guys in a minute what I just ever made. Yeah, and I, I work with my cousin, so we do, we have like designated roles in the business. So I know who needs to do what, who needs to do what. But the pieces are really nice. I'm happy on how they turned out. I'm just about to head to... Chesonia, that's in Peponi Road. I have some of my pieces stocked there in Severia's pop-up store. Yeah, I'm telling you because it's really nice to have friends in the same industry as you because they really help you. So I have Severia who, Severia, Jamie owns Severia. So he has a pop-up store at Chesonia and he's stocking some of my stuff. So I need to, there's, there's a problem with some pieces so I need to go and fix them. It's nice to have friends with this, in the same industry because they really help you advise if they have, like, if there are opportunities, people, like, call you up for opportunities and vice versa. And just, like, collaborations and all these things, it really helps to have friends in the same industry. It has really helped to grow my brand. So if you're, if you're running a business, it's always best to just find people in the same industry who you can actually just help each other in a lot of things. So I'm grateful to have friends, to have friends in the same industry because I have a bunch of people I can just lean on in the fashion industry, which is which is really cool. So I have to head there right now. It's it's almost three. I just need to be that way. I don't want like the Waikiki traffic to get me. Yeah, and I also have these pieces for Miss Wall, which I'm going to drop off in Westlands because that's I'm heading there. Let me guys show you the pieces we made yesterday. Okay. 
even the camera is not doing them is not doing them justice these things are nice so this is it like the Kenyan plug colors it's a it's a neck piece this also is a neck piece but you can just be creative and use it as a, use it as a headpiece so this is a set these two are a set this is a neck piece let me show you why yeah so you can wear this as a headpiece and this on the neck it's really cute so those are the things we we did we did last night yeah and i'm going to d deliver them today i don't need to use my rider because i'm heading in the same direction i might as well just deliver to miss wall miss wall came up there like the offices already So we're just going to drink some cocktail and watch some Netflix. This is a Kenyaji cocktail. Like I'm just doing what I need to do to just get some alcohol in, in the system. <laughs> mm. Okay. So I don't let me just do this. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm gonna be using this. This orange wedges. I have whiskey and I have some lemon juice. Okay.
blended ice cubes. It tastes way better than it looks. I, I guarantee you this. It's really, it's really good. You can try it and let me know what you think. But it's really nice. Yeah, so that's what you're doing. Netflix, cocktails. And that sums up like Saturday, probably the week because nothing much has happened this week yeah so thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it so please like share you can leave a comment below here yeah, and i hope to catch you on my next